Hey guys, it's Gary with Glamping Gurus. Hope you all are doing well. It's another beautiful day here. I'm out here at Historic Pole Green Park in Richmond, Virginia. Just one of the many places that you can come and see when you're camping in the area. But no matter where you are, go seek out some of the local attractions and events and experience the area where you're staying, not only the campground. Um, in this video today, we've got a new walkthrough coming through on a Wildwood. And I also wanted to remind everybody we've got our giveaway coming up at the end of the month, uh, Memorial Day weekend. I will link the giveaway video in this video. Go there, like, comment, and if you feel like subscribing, we appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so I hope everybody is out there getting out camping or getting ready to go camping. And again, get out and enjoy the local life. And uh, we've got that walkthrough video coming for you right now. River Wildwood. Uh, the Outbacks are Keystone. These are Forest River. Keep in mind, uh, two different names of manufacturers, but Core owns all these guys. Uh, this is a little bit different. Uh, the exterior of these aren't the uh, uh, fiberglass like the Outbacks are over next to me here, but they have the uh, aluminum siding. Uh, they have their benefits. Um, this is a two slide unit and is outfitted at, so it's got a gross vehicle weight of uh, 79.55. And it, it has a, uh, it was built in February of 22, so it's not that old, obviously. So this one could be towed by a by half ton. This does have a powered front jack, and I believe it has manual side jacks. So you'd want a, a, a cordless uh, impact wrench or something to be able to put the the front and rear jacks down. Looks like uh, 30 pound propane tanks, duels. One of the things Gary and I noticed about this unit, it has a huge pass-through, huge. This also has uh, solar prep over on the other side and uh, some other unique features. You're gonna ask, well, what is this for? I'll show you on the inside. I just noticed. So they call this side, uh, in, inside of this, uh, luggage compartment this pass through they call it use it as a dry erase surface so you want to take your notes and what have you i will say that the side the, the thickness of the passenger doors aren't near as thick as you would see on some others um but this is i would call this probably a uh, first time rv -er type experience but come on in let's take a look again it's the 27 rk so all Thomas Paine collection furniture. Uh, I kind of like it. This is a kind of a vinyl type uh, fabric on these, uh, that, that these are upholstered with in these chairs. You have two two glider, or two rockers, recliners, with a common uh, end table here. You have a fold out couch that turns into a bed. It's a jackknife. I'll pull it up, but I'm not gonna pull it down. Jackknife. But one of the things that Gary, Gary and I found out after doing some research is look at the storage. Look at those storage bins. That's incredible. A lot of units don't have that. And we found that to be pretty unique. And it's not only there, it's also underneath your dinette. Just a ton of storage. Something we also noticed that's unique. I'm not going to demonstrate it. Maybe I'll show you a picture from a different unit, but the back of this side of this dinette will reverse and give you an L-shaped couch. Really neat, really versatile. So, uh, got a double basin sink over here in the kitchen. Um, Greystone microwave, three burner gas stove, and uh, oven. A lot of under cabinet storage, residential refrigerator. Significant storage back here, a little coffee area in the back, maybe in the front. 
with uh, with outlets. Huge pantry. Huge pantry. This right here sells would sell it for me in this area around here, right around through the kitchen, having that amount of storage for their uh, for the pantry. You have two ACs on here. They're the uh, mock, the Coleman mock units. If you take a look at this mural up here on the on the wall, this is where your uh, looks like about a 55 inch TV would fit. Your your uh, cords would come down below. You're prepped for your uh, your King Connect uh, Wi-Fi cable and satellite. Also have a Furion soundbar. We well, Gary and I saw it was really nice. It has an HDMI port and a USB port. The uh, Raystone fireplace is a uh, is a heater as well, and it'll heat this unit up pretty well. You won't need to use your furnace hardly at all. Coming up forward, queen size bed. My bad. I just noticed it, you probably could put a second AC up here if you wanted to, but it does have the uh, the vent, the male vent up front. So, I kind of mentioned something in that Ford pass-through. Check this out. It's a pantry. I mean a... Uh, Clothes hamper. Clothes hamper. Isn't that neat? Believe it or not, this whole thing can be removed. It has a drawstring. Goes straight to the laundromat. Another unique feature in this uh, storage unit, you know, we've got hanging storage on both sides, cabinet storage above, is... See this right here? You can reach right through. They have an outlet on each side. On the inside, you can stick your phone or what have you in there that's charging. We do have USB ports there. And that huge cabinet behind Gary there. Nice closet. We also have a significant amount of under, under bed storage. Now that is your pass-through that we showed you earlier. But these bins come with the unit, which is really unique. This is a 50 amp unit, by the way. So when I told you you could put an AC up here, you probably could. And then finally, the bathroom. I'm going to step in the shower because in order for Gary to do the video, or maybe he can hand me the camera, but we have a Dometic porcelain uh, toilet. I'm 5'9", so plenty of space for the shower. Plastic surround and, and basin. And I'll take the camera here from Gary. And if you close the door, not a bad little air, uh, prep area for for the bathroom. Uh, one piece sink. Nice medicine cabinet. GFCI outlet. And more storage on the side. So for the value and the price, this is a nice unit. <clears throat> so suggested retail at $48,170. Sale price at $36,8995. So listen, 895, this is really a nice unit. Uh, Gary and I kind of picked this one out for, to show you because we like the layout. We like the, the uh, fabric on the furniture. And for a first time buyer, I would say this would be one of the nicer units to, to take out. And there's uh, outside uh, some of the ones that we've had with outdoor kitchens. This has a uh, modified outdoor kitchen, I'd call it. Yeah, so uh, let's take a look. All right, all right, we're gonna follow Jeff out here and take a look at this. So we got the outside speakers here, but check out this little kitchenette here. Little outdoor fridge. And look at that. Nice little griddle. You want to do your bacon and eggs? Store your bacon and eggs in here. Cook it right here. Can't beat that. Full profile awning outside. Again, you got your gas furnace. Gas hot water heater. You actually have a water sprayer port right here. Uh, outdoor cable and outlet here and actually it even has a little sticker here if you want to put a tv backer you can have an outdoor tv outside here so overall i'm pretty impressed with this unit and i hope you are as well thanks for thanks for watching